Hi, fishy folks, and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Many new things in the fish room today. Lots of stuff going on. First and foremost, brand new camera and a new microphone. Everything from now on will be in 4K. Hopefully you guys like it. Let me know down in the comments below if you notice a difference. All right, fish room tour. Maybe not the whole thing, but lots of new stuff. Lots of changes. Grab a healthy snack and a beverage. Stand by. All right, fishy folks. First, just a, a quick overview of the fish room. There's just a light for filming. All the fish food is here on my workbench and cart. <clears throat> you can see the the gutter that I use to hold all that stuff over there. And uh, there's water on the floor, and I don't I don't actually know why. So I gotta check that out. It's water on the floor in two spots. So that's it's rare and. That it's in two spots, not that there's water on the floor. And you can see where Chewy's tank is, there's some other stuff. We'll go over that later, but uh, let's talk about some fish in the fish room. Let's talk about these purple mosaics. Uh, I've had about 50 people inquire when they're going to be available and how much they're going to be. And to be honest, um, they're going to be expensive. I was, I was offered over $100 for a pair already. I don't think they're going to be that expensive because I think that's a little crazy for guppies, but they're going to be expensive. Um, I'm, uh, to be honest, I'm waiting for more uh, males to develop to see how many I have, just to make sure I have breeding stock. Dumbo Red Mosaic Fireworks. Uh, I got these from Phil at Tamed Waters, I don't know, maybe a year ago. They seem to be slow developers, uh, and by that I mean, I, I didn't, at first I didn't get many fry from them, um, and then I got a bunch of fry and now they're taking a while to develop, so. I don't think that's any fault of Phil's, of course. I just think that's just how they are. Also in this tank, we have some gorgeous um, calico, long fin calico plecos. And of course, in this tank, we have regular calico plecos. <clears throat> I got this original stock from my, my good friends, my dear friends, Karen and Alan. Um, just let them grow out a little bit more, get a little bit bigger, and then I will probably try to try to get a couple of males and females to breed, and then we'll put them up on the website. So. Uh, you may notice this dark tank, these dark tanks here, that light took a poop. Um, to be honest, it started smoking yesterday. Uh, actually, I heard zzz, 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 and then it started smoking and I unplugged it and I made the light years ago out of spare, spare parts. So I'm just going to throw it out and buy a real light because I don't need a fire. Um, all right, let's take a look at the blue tux. These are growing out. Uh, I've been feeding them the guppy turbo food that my friend Ricky from Sweden sent me. Um, it would be fantastic if it would focus, but uh, yeah, I'm still learning the camera, sorry. You may be interested, it is a Canon 90D, um, and I'm using a VideoMic Pro from Rode as well. These are the Black Pandas, <clears throat> got these in the wholesale order. Uh, we have another week, full week left of quarantine before I will start selling these. I may wait until my website redesign is done, but we'll see. Um, I know I have a lot of inquiries about these and I see a lot of people on Facebook looking for them so pink flamingo grow outs I got these from Joe uh, this was the box that was packed with like six rolls of tape Joe did a great job little overzealous on the packing but growing out nicely uh, purple grass guppies <clears throat> again I got these from Philip tamed waters and they didn't really seem to breed as they should have but they're breeding pretty true like this. And uh, if it would focus, you would be able to see how nice they are. Um, there you go, gorgeous color. So we got a bunch of males, a bunch of females. These will be going on the website soon as well. Galaxy Red Lace, wholesale order. Um, I gotta be honest, the wholesale order for me, other than being a little pricey with shipping and trend shipping costs, was actually quite quite good I've I only lost one once they got here and everything else that I lost in shipping they're going to replace so that's pretty good uh, these are the fire and ice platinums uh, also I got these from Joe very very nice guppies uh, lots of fry actually two two different batches of fry down there if you can see them so great great 
great looking fish. Something kind of odd, but uh, you know, not strange looking, if you know what I'm saying. Um, let's move to the Jari Lazuli guppies <clears throat> from the wholesale order. These are doing well, also in quarantine. Um, both Karen and I lost a few extra males, so we have a, a plethora of females. Um, yellow tigers, look at these bad boys. These are stunning. Stunning, stunning fish. I can't believe how nice they look. Uh, this is We lost one of these in quarantine, that's it. So, Gorgeous colors, nice shiny top. They look great top down. Uh, you can see I have one Pleco in here. He got in here by accident and he's doing well. Uh, he's got the whole tank to himself. Uh, got some Cobra Half Moons in here. Also from the wholesale order, doing well. Um, looking great. Of course, still, there we go. Um, all right, let's talk about this area here, and then we'll get back to guppies. So, if you remember, Chewy's tank was here. It was a 75-gallon drilled, and uh, I had it plumbed into the system and overflows. And when Chewy passed away, rip Chewy, let's take a minute of silence. Um, I wasn't sure I wanted to do with that 75 gallon. I sanitized it and decided I'm going to take it down. Uh, I could put four 20 gallon highs there and that would give me four more breeding tanks for guppies. Also the space <clears throat> with the uh, gutter here made it difficult to catch fish and almost impossible to put a hang on back. Like I put a hang on back on this on this 90 gallon massive mutt guppy tank that's down here. That's a disaster, um, because this tank was sick and I wanted to clean all the gunk out. And uh, I I was very close to nuking this whole tank. Just just getting rid of the guppies, sanitizing and starting fresh, throwing everything in it away basically. Um, and then the fish started bouncing back, and I got some different meds and I spoke to some really smart people and. Uh, we seem to be on the mend. They're not 100% healthy. We're not selling out of there, obviously, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna fight through it and see if we can't can't get them healthy again. Uh, they had calamaris, which is that that white fuzzy disease, and uh, also internal parasites. They and I got it from a wholesale order from Florida, which I will not be buying guppies from that company anymore. Anyway, uh, I had one 20 gallon. You see this old one, and then I got these new Sepora 20 gallons from my good friends Martin and Lisa at Super Cichlids. So we're gonna put four here, and then in this section, I had a 20 high here with plecos in it. I can fit four more 20 highs there if I take the five and the 10 down, and this 20 long that I took down already. So we're gonna add eight more tanks. So that would bring the total to 62, I think. I'd have to count when I'm done and maybe use some other people's help because I'll run out of hand. So 62-ish, I think. And that's the plan. I got to drill eight tanks. I got to plumb them. I got to build a drain for the back. Um, and so that'll, that'll, be, that'll keep me busy. I got to take it easy, though, you know, with the heart and all that stuff. So I think what I want to do is uh, take, these, take those tanks down, take these cinder blocks down, and raise this up a little bit, like, like maybe maybe this much, maybe a brick, you know, height. Maybe, we'll see. Um, I mean, I definitely have to take those tanks down anyway, so that's not that big a deal, but I think I could get more height in here, in this area here, that, that might help me. Um, although, this is nice, because I can catch these tanks, you know, this is, this is my height, right, right here, so. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. All right, let's take a look over here. Here are the angels. Still not on the website. Not really sure when they're going to go on the website. I know I said they'd be on the website before, but uh, these actually turn out as a great deal. I got them for free, basically. Um, so, turn out to be a great deal. I think they're going to be $10 each on the website. And I have pictures. I really just got to write the listing. So, soon. Big Ear Leopards. Um, these are the ones where we lost all the females except for two. So... Uh, but the males are doing nice, and I mean the 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 trio I have in a separate tank are doing well. Uh, mutt plecos; these are super reds and calicos mixed. 
Um, <clears throat> so, I, you know, I, I trying something new. I got them from a subscriber who was selling them, growing them out a little bit. We'll see how it goes. Up here we have our uh, sponge filter farm. You can see, uh, you know, we have that gang valve. Gang valve. And uh, all the different sponge filters in there. Sucking up mom and this is the long fin albino uh bristle nose tank you can see some tails over there hanging out oh you might be saying to yourself but but mike what happened to the the plecos that were in the 20 high that was up here they're in here trying something new with the caves uh usually i put two or three caves just spread out and and i get you know i get decent results but these guys really haven't done anything for me i think i have all females which is one of the reasons because you know without a male whatever but there's a, a long fin uh regular brown and then there's a long fin albino right there and there's another another long fin uh albino in here so there's three i think they're all females to be honest but oh lemon blue eyes in this tank growing nice healthy getting fat these will be available soon um i would suggest if you're interested you buy them because i'm going to sell out of these i think i have I think I have 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I see 15. I would say there's 20. I don't think I lost any of these when I got them from the wholesale. Anyway. Um, yeah. So I would, I would purchase them if you want them. I already have a waiting list. I'm just saying. Uh, yellow Cobras and Long Fin. Blue eyes, there's three long fin blue eyes. I don't know if I have males and females. They're too small um, to sex. But the yellow cobras are growing nice. You can see them. They're getting that guppy turbo food as well as uh, the San Francisco Bay brand Cyclops. I love that stuff. Oh, let's, let's go talk about food for a second. Because I've been testing some food. I know, disaster. I've been testing this extreme, the community crave, and... Let's move this. Let's try to move this so you can see. All right. So I've been testing the Extreme Community Crave, the Extreme Spirulina Flakes, and Cat Scratchers. Now, I have a couple other, like this Sinking Wafer and these Nano Bits. Nano. But I haven't been focusing on those. First of all, let's talk about these Cat Scratchers. So these are obviously for Plecos. And uh, I don't know if you can see. Will it focus? Yeah. 38% protein, great ingredients, green pea, fish meal, herring meal as the number ones. Um, they, the plecos go insane for it. Now, here's the thing about fish food. Fish will eat pretty much anything. They will go insane for pretty much any food. That doesn't mean it's good for them. The ingredients that I see in here and the other... Uh, um, parameters for the food to me make it a good food and I've, i'm getting good growth you saw the the lemon blue eyes how fat they are yeah i have babies in every pleco tank um i, I really like this extreme cat scratchers and of course you could buy it at supercichlids.com i think 40 if you spend 49 dollars you get free shipping if you spend 59 dollars you get free shipping plus a free gift my last free gift when i ordered from them was this a whole bag of cichlid food. So, yeah. So look, $39 free gift. Oh, $39 free shipping. $59 free gift. That's fantastic. Um, all right, let's talk about this community crave flake and the spirulina flake. So, I love, uh, they love this stuff. In fact, this is Super Cichlid's number one seller for extreme, this community crave. 40% protein. I can't, I can't really make, oh, krill meal, herring meal, shrimp meal, wheat flour. So flour is the fourth, fourth, fifth? Hold on, folks. I got to count. One, two, yeah, fourth ingredient. So that's, that's pretty good. Again, all flake foods going to need some sort of binder or else it would just crumble and fall apart soon as it hit the water so that's pretty good um and the fish have really livened up and, and look great with it so 
I'm really happy with this extreme food. Um, more happy than I thought I'd be, to be honest, because it's been around for a while, and I, I've heard decent things, but not great things, and I really like it. This spirulina has 42% protein, and spirulina is the first ingredient, so then fish meal, then wheat flour, so uh, good stuff. I would suggest you check out supercichlids.com and uh, check it out. Oh, these micro worm sticks that I got from uh, Keith at KJE, the, the Pluckos go crazy for that as well, so... Um, yeah, lots of food. All right, what else do I need to show you in the fish room? I gotta check out, I gotta check out this, the water on the floor. It's a little annoying. Um, but to be honest, I was down here yesterday working for a little while, and then uh, I pretty much just went upstairs without checking anything, which is not really odd, but I should have checked, you know, every place I was working. You can knock a you know, a water line off or, or out of sync. So and that's what I think happened here as I was messing with this light. So we'll check that out. Um, Otter Creek Aquatics. These are the, uh, the rainbow dragons. There's some fry in there growing out. We'll see. I think that's about it for the tour for what's new and what's going on. I'm excited about this. <coughs> um, we'll see. Uh, today is July 4th, Saturday. I'm filming. It's like six in the morning. Um, and uh, 4K video, if you don't know anything about video, 4K video is takes much longer to render and actually upload. So I got to get going on that because I want a one o'clock release. So um, for tomorrow, for Sunday. What else? Ah, I'm meeting my boy Scott tomorrow and a couple other YouTubers, Susie Q and Dylan from Veteran Aquatics. Looking forward to seeing those guys and my boy Scott. So. All right, I'm rambling because I got nothing else to talk about. Mm, oh, Black Moscow Babies. Black, black Moscow Babies. Uh, growing nice. Still too small to sex. No Black Moscows outside in the pond, so these are good for now. Lots of Pleco Babies. You can see there's some, some babies in here. Some albinos, some regulars. Just chilling together. They don't care. And also in here, these... These calicos, or what were supposed to be green dragons, had babies, and uh, I don't know if you can see on the on that fake uh, that cave over there. There's some albinos. So, all right, fishy folks, that does it for the disaster fish room tour. Lots of changes. Hope you guys like the camera and the the sound quality. And uh, do me a favor, hit up my website, michaelsfishroom.com, and take a peek. See ya. Fishy folks, and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. <sighs> you think after 650 videos, I know to take a drink of water before I start the dumb video. No. <sighs> All right, fishy folks. Fishy folks. Yeah. I swear I haven't been drinking. <laughs>